going on guys? This is Raymond Iron by McKinney. And today I want to talk about more in depth about the mysteries of the universe and all that. Uh, you know, people talk about Big Bang Theory, um, multi-dimensional universe, all these things. And really, I think it goes way beyond that even because no one knows analytically before Big Bang and all that. Um, we just use these, those things just kind of quantify things, just to kind of learn things from an analytical point. And I understand that. But I think it needs to come down to experience, like experiencing the mysteries of the universe rather than trying to analytically know everything, trying to know everything. Because you're never going to know anything. You're never going to know the infinite. Analytically, it must be experienced. Um, I think of things like Big Bang is just like, like how Neville says, our inner dominant assumptions solidify into objective fact. I mean, like we always assume, guys. We're always assuming. And our, I think Big Bang is kind of a metaphor for our assumptions um, objectify themselves. Like what we assume to be true, what we focus on grows, and what we don't focus on goes away. I just think of that, the Big Bang, kind of a metaphor for a, kind of expanding and contracting. Just a metaphor. And then like dimensions, for example. I think I read part, one part in Neville Gard's book. He's talking about thinking fourth dimensionally. And it's kind of talk similar to the way... Similar to how Albert Einstein probably talks, where, you know, a third dimensional object, say a, a car or something, it casts a shadow, a two dimensional shadow. When you're thinking fourth dimensionally, you're casting a three dimensional shadow. Like this whole three dimensional world is just a shadow, just like William Blake says, though it appears without, it's within your imagination. Of which this more world of mortality is but a shadow, and your imagination is, you know, you think what well, we're quantifying here. Let's just say it's fourth dimensional or beyond that, and that's what manifests. So a a three dimensional object manifests a a two dimensional shadow, and then our imagination fourth when you're thinking fourth dimensionally, you cast it. A three-dimensional object say like if you turn around right now how do you know if I'm still here your inner dominant assumptions are still perceiving that I'm still here if you turn around you turn around I'm still there and if you change I'm just going to extreme I'm just pointing out an extreme example like if you just change your inner dominant assumptions that I'm not here I won't be there but bait. the whole point is, guys, you know, science, our analytical minds love to just try to figure out everything in the universe. And here's the, here's the thing. I, analytically, we are never going to find the, like, the ultimate answer. It must be experienced to truly believe and understand. That we live in an infinite universe. That the infinitude of everything is contained within us, our imagination. And we're just kind of, we're just, you know, manifesting. We're just selecting different realities moment by moment. So, this video I just kind of want to talk about how I just kind of see the universe. And again, I, I think trying to analytically know everything and not just seeing the magic in things. When you change our like assuming change our inner dominant assumptions to things like those people we see the just some of those pleasurable things. And then changing con conception of ourselves too. Um, 
also I see the world as a mirror pretty much it, it's a mirror of our inner dumb assumptions how we see ourselves in relation to the world I don't, I don't see I won't put so much pressure on yourself saying it's, everything absolutely has to change like you change the concept of yourself everything just changes instantly I see it more of kind of a relative change but it's dependent on how big your desire is. The bigger your desire, the bigger the world reflects that. And it's all relative, guys. It's all relative to me. So. And like, like say, a mystic versus a, a theorist or something. You know... We, it's like we always talk, these scientists are always arguing back and forth about these things, these theorists always arguing about human potential, all that stuff. It comes down to practicing it, guys. Challenging your mind. Challenging again. Assuming against all seeming odds. Assuming the dare to assume, just like Neville Gard says. When he assumed... Like he was going to get out of the army during the height of the war, of World War II, when he was drafted in the army. And he assumed himself out of the army. And his commanding officer gave him an honorable discharge. When, I mean, just to think like that, it's like, and there is an actual document of him getting out of the army with an honorable discharge paper. You can find it online. Um, but there's, I mean, there's not much evidence about it, but just things like that. Again, we're, we're in a world where we're just so heavily focused on external distractions and stuff. People just kind of disregard that. Even scientists just kind of disregard that stuff as like, well, that didn't happen. We're just here to experience imagination, guys. Stop trying to prove others wrong and experience amazing things for yourself assuming the best for yourself and finding the magic in things and try and not limit yourself to the, just these analytics you're going to keep you're going to feel trapped and stuck we got to we got to follow that deep intuition to to have faith in the unknown because the world's never, analytically, the world's never going to make sense to you. No matter how grave a scientist you are, like, you know, um, people like Stephen Hawking, he, he's, he's a great person, great astrophysicist. And even people with high status like that, we're never going to fully understand the universe analytically. So, you're here to experience imagination. We're here to experience amazing things by assuming the best for ourselves. Really practice these things. And again, if it doesn't resonate with you, you don't have to. It's not your path. You don't need, you don't need to focus on this stuff. Or you don't need to... You don't have to believe any word I say on here. Experience... Focus on things that you enjoy. Life is yours. You're experiencing imagination. That's all you do. You're experiencing the grand imagination of God. And we're just manifesting sections of... We're just focused on sections of reality. Because we're in, we're in physical bodies and we have a limited view of things. Um, because everything's here. We're just tuning into different realities. All infinite worlds within worlds within worlds are converging simultaneously in the infinite eternal now, including past, present, and future events. All exist within, within the imagination. So I hope this video helps and just kind of gives you another deep view of how I see the universe and world. Um... Yeah, that's all I got to say. 
I bless you all and happy manifesting.